What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla back with more Pokemon Shield. Thank you for joining me, as always. We just defeated Opal and collected the Fairy Badge. Five down, three more to go. Hold on now. I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Head to join me for the journey. If you're headed to the next gym stadium, you need to go to Hammerlock too, after all. Let's go, Opal. They say two's company, after all. If you have been enjoying this so far, ladies and gentlemen, continue to show your love like you have been by liking the video. And if you haven't already and you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button and pledge your allegiance to the Godzilla Nation. Opal's going to take 45 minutes to walk over to the castle, so we've got plenty of time. Take a brisk bike ride. Gotta get some heels on. Gotta get to the train station too, I believe. Oh, great. Have a look who's standing right there. Thought we were done with you, Bede. Come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away and my gym challenger status revoked? Yep. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Oh, of course. Of course I can. Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me after all. I'll have you know, though, I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I'll go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Hmm, that boy. Now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it, the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Really? Time for my gym mission, child! Huh? What? Oh, it's the fastest I've ever seen her move! Pink! Oh, pink! And pink! Congratulations, child! She just recruit Bede as her new apprentice? Miss Opal? What in the world has gotten into you? You're used by Oleana, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her and... Only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put into it, too. Are you... are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about wishing stars. Farewell for now, child. You should head to Sir Chester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7? Well, looks to me like Bede might be out of the gym challenge, but uh, could be becoming the next gym leader. Of course, Sonya's here. Hey, are the badge collecting going well? I've been doing some research on the ruins and stolen side. The sword and shield? What kind of Pokemon were they, and where are they now? I still have so many questions, I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in... What the hell was that? Are you kidding me? What was that? Hammerlock Stadium shook. That's where Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Huh? A power spot? You mean like where you can Dynamax? That's right, the power spot detector reacts when it's possible to Dynamax. Hey Sonya, in Zero Two, you felt the shaking, right? Seems Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Well, that, that would be bad. Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. you just get lost, Leon. I'm going with you. I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on the quaking to the adults. Head to Sir Chester and get that gym badge. See you, Leon! Of course, Hop's already at the goddamn station. I'm coming, Hop! First, that forest and that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word. But it looks like I finally caught up to you again. 
Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Oh, I'm coming. Wait. Is he going to throw down? Is he going to want to battle me? Am I going to have to upset him again? Seems to be the case. The ongoing tale. Hop wants a challenge. I beat him. He gets the sooks on. Every time. Alright, Zero. You and I both know I've got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm going to get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No, not just catch up. If I want to surpass him. So I think you should know what's coming, mate. Let me try out my latest in battle against you. Well, let's see what you've got, Hop. All you can do is try, Sunshine. Trevenant! Okay, that is one Pokemon I did not see coming. There is our Morgrim. It evolved in the last episode from Impidim. False Surrender. I love the animation of that attack so much. The way you battle, you know, it kind of reminds me of Lee. Because I'm so damn good, is that what you're saying? Just between you and me, um, Toxtricity, Morgrim, and Drizzile, because, um, Inteleon doesn't look like an emo kid anymore. But we're getting like a punk rock band together with some of these Pokemon. Ponyta grew to level 37. He's got a Snorlax as well. Okay, he's been busy in the uh, wild area. Let's go with Colossal. Tank against Tank. Colossal, the evolved form of Carcoal, also evolved after our matchup with Opal in the previous episode. And it learnt the move Tar Shot. Which makes it vulnerable to fire attacks. And it also lowers the speed stat, I think, as well. Of course, the paralysis is going to stop me. Look, Snorlax, you can body slam me all you want. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Come on. The RNG gods were smiling upon me in the previous episode. They've got to keep smiling. Don't turn on me now! Oh, no stockpile. Oh, this is going to take forever. There we go. Lowers the speed and becomes weaker to fire. I think that's brilliant. Because it now means, as well as being a defensive wall, it's going to be viable in battle on the physical side of things. Drop a couple of Tars. Get the Incinerate going. I don't want to get Flame Charge going so we're faster than the Snorlax. There we go. Becomes super effective. I like it. Good move. I can see that giving it a little bit of viability and competitive, but I still think with weaknesses to things like water, especially the four times weakness, it's going to hurt. But if you run up against a team that can't handle the Colossal, maybe, just maybe, this paralysis is killing me. I will say one thing. And a lot of you have been commenting about this in the comment section of previous videos. It is refreshing that we have Bead, Marnie, and Hop as our rivals, and each of them have a different personality. Hop obviously being the friendly rival that we've come to expect from the last few generations. Marnie is in a boat where some people don't know where they sit with her. I personally love her, I think she's fantastic because I love Team Yell. But then you got Bead, who I just absolutely hate, and it takes you back to, like, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Silver and games like that, where you just had so much hate for your rival. You know what's going to kill me here? After all this grinding, if Hop drops a Super Potion, I am going to be pissed. 
Consider the possibility your opponent might land a critical hit. Well, yeah, it was critical, but it didn't do much damage, Chop. It's just been spamming Body Slam. Yet, unfortunately for him, his time has come to an end. Don't drop a potion. Thank God. Get out of here, Snorlax. You just chewed up so much of my time. Colossal grew to 35. Inteleon to 36. Inteleon learned a new move called Snipe Shot, which I haven't used yet. I'm very keen to see how that goes down. Bolthound. Or Boltoned? Boltoned or Bolthound? I don't know how you say it. Bolton? Is that how you say it? He's got the evolution of Yamper. So we can fight electric with electric. But I'm going to drop some acid. Not the drug, I mean the, the move. Don't flinch me. Packs a bit of bite. Pun intended. gonna kill me. It's gonna get the knockout. That's okay. Toxtricity was only thrown out there so we can get the extra cash. Let's go with Ponyta. Let's drop the hoof. Uh oh. Why didn't I think of that? He was just spamming Crunch, and I threw a Psychic Pokemon to him like a sacrificial lamb. I'm sorry, Ponyta. Alright, Morgrim. Let's do this. Get knocked out, son. Morgrim grew to level 34. Cinderace. Oh, yeah. Not only are we going to send Inteleon out, but we are going to use Snipe Shot and see what the hell it's all about. We now get to see the final evolution of Score Bunny. I'm happy we went with Sobble. Acrobatics. Snipe Shot. Oh, that is sick! And the one-hit KO to boot! Oh, wow. That move animation was incredible. Heatmore? Oh. Heatmore's about to get taken down with the sniper. Just watching until he closes his eyes. Boom. Good night. Oh, that is great. Out of all the new moves I've seen so far, that is by far my favourite move. Corvus Boy grew to level 35, ladies and gentlemen. Is that enough for an evolution? No, it's not. Before we even started out on this journey, I remember watching. I remember watching too. I'm sorry I had to beat you like that, Hop. It's going to be like this from here on out. Just just get used to it. Just get used to it. He's going to heal my Pokemon for me as well. What a gentleman. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that. I want to beat him. I want to be able to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion. And I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge from Sir Chester. Okay. And you will lose. Again, I am sorry. Thievil, Team Yell. You can't just silence Team Yell. She's cute, she's tough, she won't take none one's guff. They're cheering for money, they is, they is. Thievil, Thievil everywhere. 
Route 8. Can we find ourselves any new Pokemon that we have not caught yet? Any new Galarian Pokemon we have not seen that we can capture just for the Pokédex. I'm fully aware of the fact that I'm going to have to come back at my own time and capture all these guys to get my Pokédex finished. And I'm more than prepared to do that. Did you really make me come all the way up there just for a trainer tip? That is ridiculous! I'm sorry Togedemaru, not today- oh my god. Bronzong! I'm sorry, no time to chat. What's bronze wrong with you? I'm gonna have to take on this trainer, aren't I? Okay! What do you got for me, Doc? Roselia. Gonna be hit with the false surrender! It hits hard, and I love it. Our team, pretty much at this point, is now finally complete. We just need Corvusquire to evolve into Corviknight, Morgrim to evolve into Grimmsnarl, and Ponyta to evolve into Rapidash, and then just maybe some tweaking with some moves via TM or TR, depending on what we can find. Colossal went to 36. Now send out Hatram. Hatram is psychic, I think, from memory. Yes. All right. You should shut it with anticipation. You're going to get hit with false surrender. Go for the one-hit KO. Oh, so close. You can calm mind all you want. Go for it. Go right ahead. Let's go with Assurance. Boom! Get out of here! Ooh, Morgan to 35. Wants to learn Dark Pulse. Is that better than Assurance? It is better than Assurance. Let's get rid of Assurance. Toxtricity's grown to level 38. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. Back on our merry way. What I really like about Sword and Shield is how they elected to go with some different gyms. So, with Alistair, I believe if you played Pokemon Sword you would have taken on a fighting type gym and then the next gym I'm pretty sure is the ice type gym but is ground typing in Pokemon Sword if I'm I could be wrong but I know that there's a couple of different uh, typing differences in both games which I think is great adds a little bit of depth to selecting which game you wanted because it could have also come down to not just the the cover legendary, but also now you could have had the choice, well, what kind of gym leaders do I want to take on in my playthrough? Or you could have just done what your boy God Zero did and buy the elusive double pack and get both of them. I want to capture that Pokemon. I'll probably never use it, but I like the idea of it. Is it one of my favourite designs? Hardly, but... Come here. When I first saw the design, as it is there, I thought it was a bug type, because to me it kind of looks like a centipede, right? But then you find out, it's a pure fighting type. That move animation looks sick. It's a pure fighting type, it's just like six little dudes, or five little dudes connected as one 
kind of like an army of marching soldiers. I love it. Corvus Squire. If this guy's a pure fighting type, you should be able to go to town with your drill pick, sir. I require your assistance. Level 40. That has me a little bit worried about the next gym we're going to be taking on when it comes to the levels. We've been thereabouts with the levels recently, which is great. The first couple of gyms of this playthrough, I think, for the most part, we were severely underleveled and we got lucky with some typings that went our way. We're just lucky coming into the next gym. Colossal can do a little bit of damage. But with that rock typing, he can take some damage from ice types. Can't really afford to use Corviknight. Morgrim could still come in handy. Capture it. Oh, come on! One, two, three. There it is! Phalanx has been caught! There we go, formation Pokemon, pure fighting. Send it to the box. And we're going to continue on our merry way. Collect this, thank you. No, 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 I'm not interested in fighting. I'll take the big nugget, though. We know how expensive clothing in the Galar region is. Oh, you're sneaky. Uh-uh. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. King's Rock. Okay, instead of going straight on, I want to go down this way. I'm not going to battle you. I'm just going to run. Because with you sitting right here, it tells me that there's something on the other side. Am I correct? Brick Break. I was correct. That move could come in handy as well. Well, then we'll be on our merry way. Straight on through. Here we go. Heading into Ice Town. Oh my god, they are so quick. Seriously. I made mention of that in a previous episode, but boy, do the Sneasels just put the feet down. This is a quaint little town. And there's our next gym challenge, ladies and gentlemen. The Ice-type gym. Carcoal would call, come in handy up here. Got to keep all the people of town nice and toasty. Let's get our heels on. And there is only one thing I am worried about at this point in time. That is finding a clothing store. It has been a while since we could buy some decent clothing. I was very underwhelmed. I'm surprised Morgrim can't learn Brick Break. Wow. Anyway. I was severely underwhelmed by the selection of clothing when we got to Hammerlock. I thought being such a pivotal town, it would have to have some of the best things to offer and it really didn't. Bought ourselves a jumper that I'm Probably not going to wear, but we bought it because of my love of Gengar and it had like ghost type Pokemon on it. But here we go. I'm expecting some big coats and some big puffy hats. Oh, we got some punk looking shirts. And that jacket looks sick too. $88,000 for a jacket. No. 
the one thing we need to do, we need to go into that little dressing room over there and take the jacket off. There we go. Now we can see what the shirts have to offer. Now we can get ourselves looking fresh. I love these designs. Then we've got some button-ups. I'm really digging the Eevee in the Pikachu shirts. We played Let's Go Eevee. And the Argon Zero, like, kind of channel is synonymous with the colour green. So I'm thinking the Eevee shirt is one we're going to go with. Yeah. I'm digging these designs, though. These designs are awesome. Let's go with the EV top. Putting it straight on. Shoes? Lovely nightmare. That matches the... Uh, Jumper we bought in the previous town. Do we buy the black casual trainers? Yes. No. Let's. No, nah, I like those shoes. I do like those shoes. Logo travel bag canvas. Ugh. I knew the hats would be puffy, but I was expecting beanies, not trapper hats. I am down with that look. I love that look. Let's just quickly go through some of the stuff that we own. We go with the black skinny jeans. The black skinnies, or do we go with the jeans? Because the jeans are ripped, it kind of goes with the shirt. I like the look of the jacket, but I think we're going to take it off because it takes away from the torn, the torn sleeves. I'm digging that look. Finally starting to build that punk rocker vibe I wanted to build for him. However, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to bring this episode to a close. Thank you for joining me as always. When we return, we take on the next gym in the gym challenge. If you have been enjoying this, go ahead and leave a like on the video. It goes a long way to supporting myself. I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. If you're new to the channel, plenty of other content to check out. I urge you to do so. And if you happen to enjoy what I'm throwing down, hit that subscribe button and pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation by doing so. In the description down below, not only will you find my social media links, you will also find the Pokemon Shield playlist. If you've missed any episodes, feel free to catch up in your own time. Hit that notification bell before you leave to get notified every single time something brand new hits the channel. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.